the bottom here is the powered bus board from Tip Top Audio, and then that uh, is powered by the access, the Tip Top access. And what we're going to do in this project is actually connect or jump this bus board to the passive bus board. So this will be power, and this will be powering this one, which has no power. Okay, the first thing I had to do was to remove the the um, I don't know what you call these things. The uh, basically the HP rack, whatever the modules actually connect to when you screw them in. I had to pull these out to install this uh, passive bus board here. What I do is I line up the bus board with one of the, two of the holes here because obviously two of them line up perfectly, and then I just uh, that'll give me a pretty level bus board and then I just carefully put the drill into the hole and then gently just drill a mark. I don't even drill a whole hole for it. So the next step we need to do is get these bad boys, these guys right here, if you can see that, this is the bracket that will hold the bus board off the, um, off the back panel here. Okay, so we have the uh, anchors in here and here, uh, four of them. We're not going to bother with uh, all eight. And then uh, just lay the bus board in like that on top of the, the anchors, uh, the brackets. And then just gently squeeze down until they actually pop into their respective uh, posts here. We're going to go from this jumper here to this jumper here. Um, a little uh, eyeglass screwdriver here, kind of screw everything back down and crimp the wire. So that's one. And then we run the other end of it back into the 12, plus 12 volts on this side. Okay. Don't forget to twist, get all the wires nice and cozy together so they're all having happy little happy little electrons traveling through that copper wire. So uh, we're all done. We have all of our, our, uh, our uh, reds and blacks and grounds and voltages all correctly uh, placed into uh, or jumped from the powered bus board to the passive bus board. Anyway, uh, up here I noticed that there, um, there was a, a, a VR, a Victor Romeo uh, uh, port or junction in there. I didn't know what that was for. And uh, there's three lights over here on the other side of the bus board. Okay, and the powered bus board has those three lights as well. That tells you the status of, of the uh, power when the power is on. And I had no idea that why one of them, the 5 volt one, wasn't turning on. So I assumed the Victor Romeo VR junction over here was the, or this guy on the end, was the actual feed for that voltage because this this strip bus board carries plus and minus 12 volts and plus 5 volts and a ground. Boom. Okay. Got the power light down here. I don't know if you guys can see that right here with my finger. Okay, we have three on over here. One, two, three. Let's zoom into that. Nah, it's not going to let me do that. There we go. Get a better view. Okay, one, two, three lights here. That tells me that I have all the right power to this one. Okay, and one, two, three lights on the passive bus board. Everything is all set. We got the, uh, the rail back in. So the board is in there with all the wire, appropriate wiring. Since my last video, uh, I remember showing you guys the VCO. That was the only modular I had at the time, the A110 VCO by Dobfer. Um, since then, I have added uh, the outs, um, the A161 clock sequencer. The outs is by Pittsburgh Modular. The Dobfer a161 clock sequencer.
And then in conjunction with that you have to get the A160 clock divider. They work in conjunction with each other. I'll get into some more tutorials on how to use these things. You can probably find some stuff on uh, YouTube that explains what that does. Uh, also I added the Dopefer A138 mixer that works in conjunction with the outs. I want everything going to the mixer and then to the outs at some point. Um, and of course, most important was the A145 LFO. The next one I got, it's my birthday, so I got for my birthday the uh, Pittsburgh Modular uh, Filter. This is probably my most favorite element of synthesis, I guess you can call it. Uh, I love filtering. The cool thing about this filter is that it also acts as a uh, a VCO in some cases. I think there's a switch on here. One of these two switches will actually allow you to um, switch and use this knob to change the the uh, range of the VCO and the Q and stuff does different things, changes it from uh, square to sign. The maths. Make noises, maths. This is uh, a new thing for me. It's probably the well out of my knowledge range as far as what it does, but apparently a lot of people like it and use it. I became Samantha. Mm -hmm. Who was Samantha Deal? She was lonely, hurt, and trying to make it day to day, minute to minute. When you would approach another human being, did you want to just shout?